So why are women seeking second passports? Now, this is absolutely crazy. The reason why I'm making this video is because we've gone a long way. I remember uh, this was a year and a half ago when I was on a call with a client who was male client who asked me about Mauritius. He wanted to get more information and get started on the Mauritian option. And briefly during that discussion, he mentioned about his wife questioning, hey, why are we looking at Mauritius? What's the problem? Why are we going there? Why are we moving there? Are you hiding something? Why are you so interested in outside places? Why do you need a plan B to escape from home? So those were the questions. And instantly when he mentioned that, and we were on video, uh, we both started nodding our heads. Fast forward to the other day when I was on a call with another client and she, and was a couple. Uh, it was an Asian descent lady, not from India, from the other country. The lady was taking the center stage and she was talking about options like, hey, I need Mexico and I need South Africa. Now, the first thing is uh, co this coming from a female client was in interesting to me. The first question was, whoa, why Mexico and why South Africa? Because in my opinion, this is one of the best combinations, South Africa, particularly as a plan B. We're talking about plan Bs here, not about crime, safety, all that kind of jazz, right? And women, the first thing I hear is, hey, no Mexico. Oh, my God. How can you talk about Mexico? Have you seen the Department of State advisory? Have you seen the Canadian advisory? Have you seen the UK British advisory about Mexico? Well, uh, I instantly realize, OK, and have the conversation is going to be hopeless in this particular case, but not here. The lady was very clear about Mexico. She was very convinced. She thinks Mexico is a great plan B. I completely agree. And a lot of uh, our male viewers think the same way. But this coming from a lady was very interesting. What's more interesting than Mexico is South Africa. And a lot of male people on my channel also jump up and down the moment you talk about South Africa. Hey, oh my God, it's, the, it's a hellhole. It's the, the most craziest and the most unsafe place on planet Earth and blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. Yes, it could be unsafe, as unsafe as any other country, right? Any other third world country you might think about. But what's particularly interesting here is what are you getting? What are you putting in? What are you getting? You're putting in a donation, a donation, a modest donation. This is no crazy, stupid golden visa fees like you would pay for Europe, right? When you're talking about Portugal, Portugal is a good option. I'm not saying Portugal is a bad option, but there you're looking at a donation or let's say a investment of 300 to 500 K. That really is crazy unless you don't have a clear plan for getting an EU option. But with South Africa, you're looking at a donation of six thousand eight hundred dollars you give this donation to the government only after an approval so it's not that you're paying them this money up front once you're approved you once you put in this donation you're getting a south african permanent residency this is a flexible permanent residency for life think about the importance of this stuff right there are financial situations there's the war situation there's the geopolitical tension that is going on Having a South African permanent residency is worth its weight in gold. Forget, screw the crime. Screw the crime for a moment. But if there's a catastrophe, this is the combination that you're talking about, right? You want a Mexico, you want a South Africa, you want maybe a Mauritius. But when I had this conversation, it really blew my mind. I'm like, wait a minute, the spectrum is changing. A lot of female clients are taking center stage. These are loving women, right? They care for their family. They love protecting their family. These are not woke leftists, right? Those, some of those people are stupid. They only care about themselves. They're very self-centered. They don't care about their family. They don't care about their children. Half of them don't believe in having children in the first place. But here you have a conservative, loving wife, a female who is talking about protection for herself and for her husband and for the family. And she's talking about the right kind of sensible protections in place. This is something refreshing I wanted to share with you guys that women are waking up. The right kind of women are talking about the right kind of protections. And this is one of the most sensible options that uh, even I thought about. I said, wow, I wish 
I had someone telling me this exact same thing and I wish I half my clients get told the same thing. This is a unique combination. I'm going to discuss this combination. How do you strike this combination? First thing is the easiest residency to obtain to next to free, right? You're not investing anything. You're not donating anything. None of that. You're simply showing an income or a bank balance and you're getting the Mexican residency. Again, we run the Mexican residency end to end. We have a one day turnaround time. So the moment you have the entry to Mexico, the visa for Mexico, if you need a visa, that is uh, based on your category that you're applying under, the turnaround time with us is one day. So we have one of the best attorneys who happens to be a female, the right kind of female who does the right kind of stuff. And she's one of the best attorneys across multiple programs that I have, that I run. The second option is South Africa. Again, a great female attorney who runs South Africa. And one of the things that I personally believe in is having multiple attorneys, having multiple experiences, trying this with various different people, and then figuring out over the long run with experience, who is the best one, not the best in ter just in terms of interacting with the immigration or with the paperwork, but also the best in terms of personality. The attorney should be like your family member who genuinely is concerned for you, who takes your interests forward, who believes in building a good relationship with their clients. Now with South Africa, this is the financially independent category. So you're donating the $6,800, getting the South African permanent residency. Of course, the citizenship, this is not good for citizenships. You're not going to get a South African passport unless you're committed to South Africa, which is living in the country. But if you're simply looking for a flexible permanent residency in your back pocket, you can use this whenever you need it. You can live there as much as you want or you can live, not live there at all. Just hang on to the permanent residency. You'd never know when this comes to use. And this is a very valuable tool in your portfolio. This is insurance. This is not plan A. So if you're talking about a France or a US or a UK, this is none of that. This is South Africa for a reason. This is a plan B residency. I would say plan B, plan C, whatever you call it. This is a very useful residency in your portfolio. When it is catastrophe, you are prepared. So that's what South Africa gets you. And that's where I think this is a beautiful combination. If you become a Mexican national eventually, and if you pair your, or your switch or you move your South African residency as a Mexican, you have a lethal combination in place, a lot of valuable protection in place, and you're secured, you're immune from any draconian state sponsors of financial terrorism. A lot of countries are heading in that direction. So you want to be protected. And the best time to start is now, if you are interested, Click the link, book a call. We can get you started with one or both these options. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subbed and catch you in the next one.